all these salty crackers to wake you up in the morning. Get back to the old trapper. Straight south to the mystery cache. Let's do this. There's no bear anymore? No, we're alright. Looking pretty safe. Somewhere up on our left. Might. Oh, is this it? Well, well. There we go. What do we have here? Military grade. Wow, 1700 calories. Incredible. Should be good to drink. Water bottle. It's in a coffee. Wow, that's some serious food, right? So I hadn't really anticipated all these hills. We're going to have to navigate our way around. Perhaps around this corner? Can we get through? We can. Glorious. They should hopefully send us the right direction to go and save a life. Oh, hello, rabbits. Yeah, we're not here for you today. You are safe. Hmm, well, I say safe. I'd watch out for them wolves. Now, gently does it down the other side. Don't slip, don't slip, don't slip. Zigzag, we'll zigzag. Slalom. Slalom his way down. And have a twig. I'm not sure I can carry much more. That's okay. He's there. We've met it. Well that were a trip and a half. Please be alive, please be alive. Hello? Oh yeah, that did the job. Dog oh, shit. Oh, that's smart. Take it easy. You're pretty banged up. You're probably a bit delirious too. Well, you injected you full of stuff. Just give yourself some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while, but it'll help. And you're gonna need some time to recover. Time. You don't have time. You don't have time. You need to get a message out. It's important. Message? You mean to your friend? Asking for medical help? Never mind that. No. Oh. Help me up so I can look at the radio. Let's see if the parts you brought back are any good. Go on, old timer. That's a military shortwave, isn't it? Maybe. I know a bit about radios. That's not like any surplus I've ever seen. Ah, damn it! Well, the parts look fine. So, but whatever's wrong with the radio goes deeper than that. Oh dear. What could it be? Aliens. Uh, something to do with the power. <laughs> Fuses. Transformers, maybe. We have bigger problems to deal with first. That bear's out there. That bear! Hunting us. He's a smart old bastard. He'll keep us from getting out, getting supplies, finding help. Eventually, he'll either get us or starve us out. I mean, we could just avoid him. I'm sure there's plenty of food for both of us. Help me back to the bed. Hmm, I see where this is going. Man versus bear. Come on then. Let's not beat around the bush. What's this unfinished business between you and the bear? Ah. <laughs> me and the old bear. Hmm. Every time we meet, 
I make a little trade. And what do you trade? <laughs> Blows? Each other's blood, mostly. There we go, yeah. Sounds like a losing proposition. Oh, I'm sure it will be. For one of us. For one of us. Have you seen me last? She's seen her about. The main reason I'm out here is I'm looking for someone. <laughs> you won't find too many people out here. That's kind of the whole point. This is someone important to me. She passed through here. Yeah. She may have passed through here a few days ago. She might have been injured. What makes you think she came through here? She passed through the tunnel leaving Milton, but then... I'm not sure. Well, the roads from Milton don't lead this way. Wherever she's headed, you'll have to cross the mountains to find her. All not mountaineering. Easy path, even for the most experienced outdoorsman. I'll do whatever it takes. Well, you won't get far with that bear on the prowl. What we need is to get my radio up and running, so we can find out what the hell is going on. Maybe someone out there has seen your friend. Perseverance. This is such a weird name. Perseverance Mills. Alright. The woman I'm looking for. She might be on her way to a place called Perseverance Mills. You know it? Yeah. Shit nothing town. North part of the island. Sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. We were on our way there. My passenger and I when we crashed. I need to find a way to get there, or contact her. See if she's alright. You sure she's alive? Yeah. What are I, Mr. Sure. Depressive? Well, normally I'd make some calls on the old shortwave. The whole area's been damn quiet since those lights in the sky. Even the wildlife's acting strange. But I might have an idea. Let's kill the bear! Town? Strange? How are they acting strange? What do you mean, the wildlife's acting strange? You live out here long enough, you get a sense for the patterns in nature. Right now, the patterns are broken. Critters aren't behaving the way they should. It's like they're spooked or something. No. Not spooked. But changed somehow. Best way I can say it is... Things don't feel right. Things don't feel right around here. Right. I'm not sure you about said this you dude. Had an idea. What are you saying? What do you have in mind? Well, it's a long shot. But I may know how we can find out about your friend. I'm listening. This shortwave. I use it to keep an ear open for what's going on. So how do we get the radio working? There's no reason I can see why it shouldn't be working. Well, what about more parts? Or another radio? We might find another radio. But I think I have a better idea. Problem is... Come out with it, then. It's no use with the old bear out there. He is infatuated with this bear. Radio. And our survival. It's through that bear. We have to find a way to deal with him first. Okay. I am ready. Okay. So we have to deal with the bear. But you're half dead, and rifle shots don't seem to do much. So... That's because the old bear is special. I've been hunting He's special for bear. years, and I've shot a lot of bears. But I've never encountered anything quite like him. <laughs> a special bear like that. Need special magic to bring him down. This uh, dude is weird. Magic? <laughs> don't worry. I'm not delirious. I don't mean literal magic. Bear magic. I need the old knowledge. The old ways. What do you have in mind? There's an old story. A local legend, maybe. About one of the original settlers of this place. Spence. The story goes something like this. Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty with his young family in tow. For generations, the family like has been traders in the Hudson's Bay Company. 
Old voyageur stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Bear wanders off, but Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips into fever. For days, delirious, she screams about the bear. Local doctor can't do a thing for her, neither can the priest. A week later, a hired hand goes missing, and they find him. Just a body, ravaged. Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them. Revenge for some slight in the past, maybe. Something in the family history. Spence gets some men together for a hunting party. They go out into the muskeg and track something big for days. Eventually corner it. Mm. Ah, it's a big son of a bitch. Biggest bear they'd ever seen. A man killer. Story goes, they empty their rifles into the bear and it just walks away. Like it's made of stone. They call it the demon bear after that. Demon bear. Wife's dying now. Oh, no. Spence believes the bear's evil spirit is killing her, eating her soul. He can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. They know rifles don't work. So he forges a spear, like a boar spear, but bigger. The bear From spear. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the muskeg, disappears for days, and then one morning, the wife's fever breaks, but nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him, and they find him, half dead, blood all over him, body torn almost in two. The bears work. The last thing he says is, Spear stole the bear's soul. My wife is now free. And then he's gone. So, did he kill the bear? Nobody knows. Nobody Never knows. Found a carcass. They buried Spence, took the spear back, and hung it over the mantelpiece in the Spence homestead. Never saw that bear, or any other, again. Are we on a hunt Years for a spear? Later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. So, do you believe it? The story of the demon bear and the spear stealing its soul? What? <laughs> no. Of course not. I, I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. The old stories sometimes have truths hidden in them. Spence might have been superstitious, but he had the right idea. Ten inches of cold, hard steel might do what a bullet can't. I'm convinced. A spear's the way to kill that bear. Oh, God. We need to get Spence's bear-killing spear if we're gonna survive the winter. The old hunting lodge is still there. A couple of days' journey south. Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg, and you'll find it. If the spear's there, get it. It might be our best hope. And the radio? You deal with the bear, and let me worry about the radio. <coughs> now, let me rest. Good luck out there. Watch out for our demon. Right. Well, guys, it looks like we're going spear hunting. <laughs> can get back up there. Had to set up camp somewhere, but uh it'll be an adventure. I'll tell you what, you're not gonna run out of firewood in these parts, are you? Can we s oh, we can, we've got a map. 
Oh wow, look at this. Forlorn musk egg. It's just one long rail track. And yep, that's a wolf over there. This stuff will come in handy. It's in a sardines called Last Resort. I love sardines. I don't call them a last resort. I call them a delicious resort. Well, we have traversed that section without too much to worry about other than the wolf. What's the map look like now? Aha. The old hunting lodge is up there. Right. There's bridges to get across a river. I think we'll just keep on following the railroad track for the moment. This is some ominous music as well. Well, yeah, you're, you're definitely a landslide. I'm not getting through there. Well then. We shall camp down under this ridge. Right. Really nice. Sleep. Brilliant. 